Hey guys, it's time for another Tau Army uh, painting update. Uh, this is the we've got two days to go till we're leaving for War Games Con, and uh, I'm falling a little behind. But I was lucky, and I was able to get my uh, Fire Warriors complete. So here's two squads Fire Warriors, even though I'm only using in my list eight of each. But I was able to get both squads complete. The uh, paint job was pretty straightforward. I really like the uh, blue and orange together. It looks really good. I decided that I was going to make my uniforms uh, different. You know, the first squad has got the black underclothing. And the second squad has got tan underclothing. And that just helps differentiate them on the uh, field. Plus, I put the orange into different places. Um, so you can see from, you know, like which squad these guys are from. So this is my squad leader from the uh, first squad. And you can see that they have, um, you know, a little white tab. All the squad leaders are going to have some form of white on their shoulder flash. And then the uh, other guys in the squad will have um, just regular shoulder flash. Now this right here is my favorite guy. And you know that... Um, white and orange that really pops and i really like that a lot so i believe that uh if i ever redo my figs i might have to go with some white and orange because uh, i think that looks really great um i had intended to go back to my old bases which were the uh like a diner or a you know ceramic tile type base but it just wasn't working out. I couldn't replicate the uh, look that I had before. So I just went ahead with some grass, some static grass. Um, and I think it came out pretty good. So I have uh, several more. I got a few broadsides to do. I got uh, my broadsides to do. I got my two riptides to do. And uh, um, I've got three baits, a few of them. So... I've got my work cut out for me. Uh, it is possible that I will be finished for uh, War Games Con. It is, uh, you know, quite capable, but I'm on call for this week at work, so I'm, I've been getting called out. I still have to go in and do my regular eight hours. So, uh, thank the Lord, I've got a flexible job, and I'll be able to uh, get in a little extra paint time between now and then. Uh, I would also like to be able to get a chance to help my son paint some of his circle orbros. Uh, here's some of my flying bases for my uh, for my uh, drones. So we put a little lichen there. What happens when you put the, the orange lichen on there and then you go ahead and you drop the drone on it? Let's back him up there a little bit. And here's the drones. I haven't got it quite finished yet. Oops. But it brings the whole orange, and uh, I'm going to have obviously have some orange highlights on there. But, you know, with the orange on the base, it kind of ties it all in together. No real way to tie the blue in uh, with the scenery, I don't believe, but, you know, uh, it'll be okay. So that's one of my missile drones for the broadsides. It needs a little dry brushing and some orange highlights, and uh, that's going to be about it. For this hobby update, um, hang on one second, we'll look at some new models I just picked up. Three, two, one. All right, now, guys, I know this is the uh, Tau hobby update, but I just had to show you that I picked up one of the uh, Eldar Wraith Knights, and man, is that a phenomenal model. I can't wait to paint that, and I, I believe I'm going to do that yellow and blue uh, scheme, or I may try one in red. Uh, I don't really intend on playing these. Um, I don't have any town or Eldar allies, but um, I think I'm just gonna build it and then uh, paint it all up, put it on the shelf, and let it look all sexy. But I got that, and this, in my opinion, coming up is the best looking flyer in the game, which is the uh, which is the uh, Crimson Hunter. You know, I, I think this is the best looking flyer in the game. I, I wish that all the other flyers were as sexy as this. Um, but I'm going to paint one of these up too. But that's after War Games Con and after getting everything done. So uh, I'll update you probably tomorrow afternoon on my progress. 
And then, heck, the next day we're rolling out. So uh, we'll catch you guys later.